and it's a constant struggle. Constant struggle. Uh, okay. Obviously, I'm filming this on St. Patty's Day, and I appreciate you joining me that I didn't have to come over and wake you up with my shillelagh. And you may be feeling a bit bleary-eyed this morning from last night's activities. And, um, you know, since I was the only one not drinking at the Patty's party last night, I feel fresh as a four-leaf clover. But if you're, you're feeling more so under the weather, what used to be a Patty party has now turned into a pity party. But I suggest that you go downstairs, you get yourself some coffee. And, uh, run out of it. Slantra. So I'd love to keep talking in this Irish brogue. It's really hard to stop once you start it, but I will, for the sake of my dignity, what's left of it, stop using it. Um, but hello, fellow Snarkatarians. What's up? Like I said, I am filming on St. Patrick's Day. I got some green in here. I got... Well, I have my green shirt on. It's actually from Bruges when I was there in the Netherlands a few years ago. I don't generally wear a lot of green or, you know, if there's any Irish in my blood, I don't think there's a ton of it. So, you know, I'm going with what I got here. But the reason I am here today is to talk about the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Stick Foundation that just came out. Oh, not just came out. It's been out for a few weeks, a couple of months, maybe. Um, I used to use quite a bit, and I still do actually on weekends, the Complexion Rescue Tinted Gel. I like it a lot. It's great for those no makeup makeup days. I tend to use it on the weekends when I don't need to get all dolled up, which is probably what I'll be doing today. <clears throat> Not getting dolled up. But um, of course, when I picked this up a few weeks ago, nobody was talking about it. I'd see it pop up here and there, and now everybody's talking about it. So I guess I'm jumping on the bandwagon, even though I got it about a month ago. I probably should have done it then, but obviously I had other things planned, so no big deal. I'm not usually a huge fan of makeup sticks in general. I tend to have a uh, combination dry skin. If you've watched me before, you know I've talked about the dry skin on my chin, and makeup tends to collect there. I did use the Vanish Foundation Stick from Hourglass. Like I didn't like it at all. <clears throat> it ended up being really dry and cakey and gross, so I'm glad I didn't spend all that money on it. Um, the other one I tried was the Makeup Revolution one here. I know it has a specific name. It's not coming to me right now. <clears throat> but this is in uh, the shade F6. And I actually kind of like it. I have to laugh whenever they group it on Ulta um, with the different kinds of foundations. If you're looking for a dewy, moisturizing matte, they always lump it in with the matte foundations. And I don't know what makeup world Ulta is living in, but it is not a matte stick foundation which I think is, tends to be rare anymore. Um, I find it to be very dewy on the skin. Again, it still really collects and gets cakey on my chin. So I am starting to like some of the foundation sticks that are coming out, <clears throat> and I've been hearing really good things about this. So fingers crossed, luck of the Irish that this works out. So this is in the shade 03 Buttercream, which is the same shade uh, with this as well and when I swatched them in the store it was very close to to the complexion rescue the uh, the tinted gel shade so I decided to stick with that for now but a little bit about this particular foundation spectrum has a broad spectrum of SPF 25 which is great it retails for $32 um, it is in 20 shades not too bad um, the Complexion Rescue has 0.35 ounces. It is supposed to improve skin hydration. It's supposed to be easy to apply with a superior glide. Amen for that. Um, it's not supposed to be cakey. It's supposed to be super blendable and have buildable coverage. I don't know what is going on here. Where this red mark came from. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember it being there yesterday, and I haven't used anything new or weird. I actually didn't even use my new face, uh, my Trinity, last night or in the last couple days. I do have a couple breakouts, so we'll see how that covers it up. I don't expect it to be a full coverage foundation. I think it's supposed to be more light to medium, kind of how the, uh, the tinted gel is, which is fine with me. So um, I'm going to have some coffee, and we're going to get started. Now, generally, to apply stick foundations, I use a brush. And the one that I use a lot is from Real Techniques. It's one of their paddle brushes. I use this with the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. And I think it does a great job covering. It gets, you know, gets everything around really quickly. I was interested, I think I'm going to try this. This is the brush that originally came out with the gel, the tinted gel complexion rescue. 
Um, and it looks a little bit more like a stipple brush. This is the smoothing face brush. And generally I put the, the gel foundation on with my fingers and then I go back in with the brush and kind of buff it on and it seems to do a really good job. So I think I'm gonna try at least one side of my face with that brush and see how that blends. If that doesn't blend that well, I'll go to the paddle brush and then the other side I will go to the makeup sponge. Here we go. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Slide it on. It does have a nice glide to it. It's kind of cooling. Have you missed the turby twist? I have. I haven't worn it in the past couple of videos because I wasn't really doing too much with makeup. With my face, anyway. All right. I love stick foundations because it's like I'm Braveheart and putting on my war paint. He's Scottish. He's not Irish. I thought that would have kind of blended in a little seamlessly there, but not really. Okay, so on this side, I am going to use the, uh, the smoothing face brush and see how that works. It is blending in pretty well. Coverage seems to be pretty much what I expected. It's fairly a light to medium coverage. This brush seems to be working pretty well. Let me see. I mean, you can see I have this red mark here that really isn't going away from it. Again, I wasn't expecting it to be covered. And I think it looks pretty natural. Um, the big test of it is the chin here, so we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna use the, the makeup sponge on the other side. It is dampened. Just looking to see if it covered up that red spot. It did. I think it did. The other part I have problem with foundation lately is right in between the uh, eyeballs, in between my eyebrows. Here, let me get a little close up. Um. Okay, color me impressed. This looks really nice. It looks super, super natural. It doesn't look like I have anything on. It just kind of evens out the skin a little bit. I'm not really sure which side I like better, the brush or the sponge. What, what I'd probably do um, from here on out is use the sponge or use the brush. This worked just fine and probably just go over it with a dampened uh, makeup sponge. But um, let me see if it builds. A little bit. So you can use it as a concealer as well. I'm not going to do that under the eyes. Nah, I can still kind of see that red red mark on my forehead. I can see it more on the camera than I can in person. It's not necessarily building to cover up to cover up that blemish there. But I think the finish is super super natural looking. It felt really good going on. It had like a cooling sensation to it, kind of a mentally thing. It wasn't tingly, but it, it felt kind of cold. It was cooling. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It feels like it dries, it was a stick foundation, so it should dry down very fairly quickly, but um, it doesn't feel sticky. Like I feel the Makeup Revolution stick tends to stay sticky for a little while. Um, if, I don't tend to set uh, foundations right away just because of my dry skin. There is no need for me to do any powdering at all with this foundation, from what I can tell. It looks super natural. And even my chin, it blended out so nicely on my chin, as you can see here. Usually I have those little dots in between here, looks pretty good. The first thing I ever bought at Sephora, little, little tidbit of information, I was just thinking about this. When I was getting ready, I'm like, the first thing I ever bought at Sephora, my first ever Sephora purchase back in 2005, first time I ever bought anything at Sephora, was the Bare Minerals uh, Mineral Foundation Kit that had the three things in it and the brushes. It had the little kabuki brush. It had a blush brush. Maybe it just had one of the, one of the other under the brushes, and then I ended up getting another one. But it had the foundation, the mineral veil, and then like a, a bronzy kind of color. That was the first thing I ever bought. 
And uh, in my last video, I used one of my very old expired Bare Minerals Loose Shadows um, for my spring eye look. So I've, I've used it for many years and uh, it keeps coming back. I haven't used the mineral foundation in a long time because I did go to the, the Complexion Rescue tint and uh, this, this stick foundation is it's really pretty nice. I'm really impressed with it. It gives me kind of an all over evening of my skin. It looks very natural. It doesn't look overly dewy which is good. It's not really shiny. I don't mind if it does get shiny throughout the day, but um, it looks super, super natural. Um, I'm really impressed with this. If I haven't mentioned that before, I'm a little impressed. I think I'm going to uh, do some concealer to kind of even everything out as much as I can. And um, lately I've been using the Pacifica, um, the liquid cover, full coverage lasting concealer. I don't know what shade this is. This is a little dark. Oh, 18WL. And then I've also been using, to brighten things up a little bit, the uh, Camo Concealer from e.l.f. This is super, super light. And I figured I didn't care because it was only $5, so, you know. But it, I actually kind of blend this in a little bit. It's more on the drying side, so between that and a much more uh, emollient concealer, it tends to work out pretty well. Um, still getting a lot of cakiness in the corner of my eyes here with foundation. It's a constant struggle, constant struggle. Uh, uh, but um, we're gonna we're gonna do the, the concealer on here. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and then come back and, and show you the finished look. We'll do some, some natural lighting and then I'll do a couple updates throughout the day. So we're gonna go with the concealer here. I have so many things that look the same. I almost, for all you ASMR people, Oh, that didn't do it. Hold on. Oh, I don't like the sound of people chewing, and that's kind of what this reminds me of. Like, if you like that, let me know why. I'd love to know. <laughs> oh, concealer face is back. So how was everyone's St. Patrick's Day Eve? Do you remember it? Let me know in the comments if you did anything fun. If you remember doing anything fun. Okay, so <clears throat> I am still really liking this after playing around on my face a little bit with my fingers and everything. I guess I'm a little more shocked than I thought it was going to be. I, I kind of had a feeling, a good feeling about this and thought it was going to work really well. But I didn't realize it would look this natural. It really doesn't look like I have anything on my face at all. What it does is just basically evens out the skin tone and uh, it, it looks so natural. I'm shocked. I'm, I can't believe I put anything on my face at all. It just, it, it blended out. It did, it blended out really nicely. Again, if you're looking for full, full coverage, this isn't it. This is not what you want. You gotta go, to, go with the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. If you want something that's gonna be quick, on a no makeup makeup day, you're like quick running out, or you're getting together with a friend for coffee or something like that, and you just wanna throw something on and even your complexion out and just, Make it look like, dude, I got nothing on. I did nothing. I woke up like this. And this is probably something that you're going to love. And it appears that <clears throat> the stick foundations correlate with the gel foundations. The color, the, the shade, the tone seems to be exactly the same. So that makes things so much easier when you're trying to pick, up, pick out a shade match. But this seems to correlate quite nicely with the the gel, the tinted gel. So again, I'm going to go put the rest of my makeup on. I'm going to come back and show you a finished look and then we'll do some natural lighting. So, so far, yeah, Bare Minerals kind of knocked it out of the ballpark, at least with what I, what I need in my foundation, with my foundation needs. It's good. All right, be back in a second. I'm... This is me being shocked and speechless. Literally, this foundation's amazing. I have nothing else to say. I'm just gonna stop this now, right now. I'm done. I'm just kidding. Um, I am floored right now of how this looks. I can't see anything in any of my pores. It looks like I swiped this foundation on and it disappeared. But the only thing it did was even out my skin tone, 
make everything look brighter. And as I've been putting on my makeup, it seems to have melted in even more with my skin. I can't see it. It looks like I have no makeup on except for the fact that my face looks flawless right now. It looks really nice. And the only thing I've changed my mind about is the fact that I initially said this could be my, you know, no makeup makeup look. I would just wear it on the weekends and, you know, and I wasn't really doing anything else. I'm pretty sure I would wear this every day to work, to gatherings, to functions, to parties, to nights out, date nights. I think it would work anywhere. Um, I'm excited to see how this wears throughout the day because if it is consistent the way it's been now, this has become a game changer. And I haven't been this excited for a foundation since the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation, which is my holy grail at this point. It will probably still be my holy grail, but as far as stick foundations go, for people who don't want, again, I'll say this again, for people who don't want a matte, full coverage look, who want something very natural, and just wants it to enhance the way the skin texture and overall appearance of your skin is, you will absolutely adore this foundation. Uh, Bare Minerals, you are working wizardry in your factories or wherever you make this. I have nothing else to say. You know my feelings on this foundation at this point. I'm really hoping they don't change. I'm going to show you what it looks like in natural light now. Okay, this is what it looks like in natural lighting. It, it looks pretty stunning. It looks pretty flawless right now. I did uh, use a little Too Faced Born This Way concealer um, on those little spots. I don't even remember where they are now because I don't see them. But oh, over here, that's okay. It's Again, it's not a high coverage um, foundation, so that's fine with me. But there is no gathering of foundation here at all or up here nothing it's gone <laughs> but in a good way it's there but it's gone and um, it just has a nice kind of luminous finish um, there is a possibility it may get a little more glowy throughout the day but it has a really nice finish to it it looks natural again I don't powder I don't plan on powdering my face at all <sighs> I am super excited about this foundation stick. Who would have thunk it? They changed my mind on, on foundation sticks. This is kind of a game changer as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I will check in again a few hours later and let you know if there's been any kind of breakdown, if there's any been, if there's been any kind of change in texture. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye. So I'm doing my first check-in. Um, plans got rearranged today and uh, we ended up coming to Matt's uncle's birthday so pardon this we had to change really quick because I wasn't I didn't know that we were going <laughs> um, but I'm just doing a, a check-in here um, it, I think it's about five o'clock I ended up putting this on uh, the foundation on about 1045 so we're a little bit more than f six hours in I guess um, and I like it. I think it's holding up. Um, it's starting to wear away a little bit so it doesn't look as even. And it is starting to, I don't know if you can see, I'm kind of getting into the pores a little bit. But overall, it's pretty much doing what I thought it would do. And it's, you know, holding up fairly well. And uh, I don't need to powder, I don't think. It still has a nice <clears throat> even luminosity to it. It doesn't look like it's getting too oily or, or anything like that. Maybe a little bit on the forehead. But that's to be expected just the way with my with the way my skin works so again it's wearing away it's a fairly even wear away which is okay and uh, i'm still happy with it i think i uh, you can wear it for a day at work and uh, come home and you might be able to just reapply it a little bit so i'll do one final check-in at uh night before i go to bed and uh, let you know my thoughts on that but so far i'm still pretty amazed i mean for a light coverage foundation stick it's doing what I want and more than what I expected. So I'll see you in a few hours. Hello again. So um, you know how you have a full plan of how a day is going to go and then it just kind of goes right down the tubes? <laughs> That's kind of what happened yesterday. I had every intention of giving you my final 
thoughts, my final initial thoughts on this foundation stick. And we got home from the party and I was pooped and I just, I didn't have it in me. So what I thought I would do instead was since I said that, um, this would be, this is a great weekend foundation, like a no makeup makeup foundation. I thought it'd be interesting to see how it would wear during a full day of work. So that's what I did today. And, uh, this is a picture of me sitting in my parking lot at work. Um, really excited to be there for a Monday. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, nothing really changed from yesterday. I think uh, I can still see it. I still feel like it has a nice luminosity to it. Um, it did not really settle too much into my pores and it did start wearing away. I can see more of my, you know, skin tone, my discoloration and stuff through it, but that's to be expected. I'm okay with it. I think it's fine. Um, I don't look overly shiny. So if you do have oilier skin, it might be okay for you. You may have to powder or give it a little nudge throughout the day, but I'm not super shiny. Even my forehead today is not super shiny. So I really like it. I will be reaching for it often, most likely. Um, I'm almost out of the, the tinted gel and I will probably just let that go and just keep reaching for the stick. Now, that being said, if the Makeup Revolution stick and the Bare Mineral stick kind of got together for a little romantic evening and a baby stick would come out of it, that would be like perfect. It would have the coverage of the uh, heavier coverage of the Makeup Revolution stick combined with the glideability and the moisturization and the non-cakiness of the Bare Minerals Foundation. So that's my suggestion, but um, it's great that Bare Minerals is um, still being relevant, doing new things, branching out. I think that's really important as a makeup brand. And uh, somebody who liked Bare Minerals to begin with, you know, keep me wanting to try some new things. So two thumbs up, two thumbs up. <laughs> um, for the foundation. I do like it. Speaking of thumbs up, if you like this video, if you got anything out of it, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you like it and that YouTube knows that you like it. And my content is relevant and uh, for this kind of channel. Uh, also follow me at the Pesky Snarkitarian on Instagram. Subscribe. Just, just press the little subscribe button. It's free. It's not like the Columbia Record House where you pay a penny and then because that wasn't free either. They made it sound like it was a pretty good deal, but it really wasn't. Um, so please subscribe. Hit the notifications bell. Give it a little ringy ding. I upload every Saturday around noon. And uh, you'll get a little notification bell that uh, there's some new, exciting, educational, mind-blowing information now on my channel. Um, so do that as well. And also... Hey, drop by and say hi. Leave me a comment. Really appreciate that. If there's any kind of foundation, any kind of skincare that you are wanting me to try, I will give it a try unless it's some kind of weird animal secretion that is not FDA approved. I might think twice about it. But, you know, throw it out there. You never know. Um, and I do want to say hi to uh, my new subscribers. Diana and Maureen, who were kind enough to give my channel a go and subscribed and left some really nice comments. So I do read them. I do appreciate them. They make my day. Oh, I also wanted to let you know that I do, in the drop down, I take this for granted that people don't necessarily um, subscribe to YouTube or look at things all the time, but in my description box, um, if you hit the drop down, I do actually list what I'm wearing, what, I, what makeup I'm wearing on my face. And in my last video, I did um, put a bunch of links to the um, products that I was referencing. A lot of things that I was talking about, I did put links there. So if you're interested in them, you can just go into the description box, click on the link, and it'll take you right there to um, the website. And you can check out more information or just go ahead and buy it. And nothing, I, I don't get any um, kind of compensation for it. It's just a link. So if I ever do for any reason, I will let you know. But uh, I did want to fill you in on that as well. So I'll leave it there on that note. Uh, good product and um, good way to end this kind of product and review. So my friends, I will see you next week. Please, please always stay snarky and ciao for now. TTFN.